What is the maximal oppositions approach? Welcome to Neurodiversipedia. Let's talk about what it is and how to help kids with speech and language disorders through this approach. The maximal oppositions approach is basically taking two words that sound very different and pairing them together to help kids learn words. Now, that sounds a little odd. How does this work? If a kiddo has a hard time saying the word bat and they understand the word dog, those don't sound anything alike. So using them in the same sentence can help them hear the distinction and learn how to say it faster. You can do it through learning games or um, card games, stories. The key here is to use topics that kids actually engage with and like. Maybe a kiddo that has a hard time saying the word son loves farms. You can pull out Old MacDonald Had a Farm and find a page that has the word son in it. And you say the word son next to the word pig. They don't sound anything alike, but you can have them practice saying them. Say the son was over the pig and engage in a way that's exciting to them. Basically, it's highlighting the difference of articulation to make it easier for the child to understand and then repeat. Can parents use this approach at home? Absolutely, but it's probably going to start in the speech therapist setting. So they might work on it in the clinic or in the classroom, and then they can go home and practice it with mom and dad. A lot of people wonder, is this something you can use for kids with autism or other diagnoses? Absolutely. Kids with thinking differences oftentimes have problems with speech early on. So this is a great approach to teach language fast. Did that help you understand the term? If yes, give us a thumbs up or subscribe below. If it didn't, then leave us a comment and tell us why. What are we missing? We always want to do better. This is a project by Goalie. Check us out at getgoalie.com.